Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick video about uh, how not to install radiant heat using PEX. So, what I did in this first attempt was I copied an idea that a friend of mine did and uh, modified it slightly. So what I did was I ran orange PEX from Home Depot, uh, which is good PEX, but what I did was I ran it down the joist bays. I had to drill through this beam and went down along the length of the bay, drilled, crossed over, and then came back. Came back through that beam in the middle, came down to this end, drilled, crossed over, and then ran back down again. Went down to this end, drill, crossed over, came back down. So you can kind of see what I did. I ran one length of PEX tubing down each joist bay. So what I found was a couple things. Uh, number one, this really doesn't do anything to heat the floors and the rooms above. Uh, I think the number one reason why it doesn't work is because the PEX is just sitting in the air. It's not making contact with the floor above, which is actually the recommended way to install it. Uh, the second thing is I only have one length of PEX per bay, and it's also recommended that you use uh, two runs per bay, and you run them in a crossover loop style. So, what I did in this part of the house was I followed uh, a bit more of a recommended installation method. And I got these aluminum plates. You can get them online. Uh, I got two foot sections that I put on this end and then four foot sections that I put over here. And basically what I did here was I came into a bay, ran down through the aluminum mounting plates, looped, came back down to where I started from. There we go. And then crossed over. And then did it again. So from my, after you cross over, you run down, loop, come back, cross over, run down, loop, you know, etc., etc. Uh, so I'm sure it's pretty difficult to uh, see in the video, but um, when I tested the two different setups, this one here, the first way I did it, and this one here, the second way I did it, uh, the difference in the uh, results in the heat upstairs were like night and day. Uh, this I could run all night long, and you know, from the entry point down here, where the hot water starts making its loop through the house, the temperature is about uh, 120 degrees. By the time it gets to the end of its 300 foot run, it's about 90 degrees, uh, which is fine. It's actually the same way that my second installation kind of works the same way, about the same temperature drop. However, this is not transferring any heat to the rooms above. Uh, all it's really doing is kind of warming the air in the joist bay slightly, uh, but there's no measurable difference in the floor temperature above. Now when I measured the floor temperature in this configuration, uh, it's about a 15 degree uh, warmer floor upstairs than this section. So as I make some more improvements and modify the system, I'll put more videos up. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions, any comments? Post them below and thanks for watching.